Uh, all right. Well, we've got one more topic today, Blunty, and we always put last on the news a kind of a ranty little freeform topic. Uh, and yes. that is, first of all, the TBS lounge is back. The TBS couch is back. It was gone for weeks. No one knew why. And uh, they responded to some of the things that we have asked about. Um, one of them is that I have been complaining about TBS Tracer. And yep. and their lack of support for low ra. Absolutely. Are you on like the same people, page as me with that? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, I've ran it on my own stream about this a little bit, but uh, it, yeah, there's just absolutely no reason. You, right. You just just do both. The hardware you know? supports it, and the you know yeah. immersion RC Ghost shows that it's possible to yes. like make that work. Yeah. Um. So I've said that they are doing their, they're not, they're not acting in their user's best interest is the statement that I made. Um, and I say that because TBS the, generally works in their user's best interest. That's how they become so successful is they make good products. They make some, sometimes they make the best product in a given category uh, and their users thank them for it by buying their products and using them. But in the case of Tracer, it feels like they've made a marketing decision because if Tracer could do low raw, it would it would just not it would take a big bite out of crossfire uh and it feels like they want to segment their user base which anyway um so they responded to that and in, in addition they also talked about the potential of tbs making a shark bite video transmitter so where do you want to start we've got links in the in the show notes blunty which one should we start with uh if you just start with hd zero stuff it kind of will all go together if we if we write it out so okay so let me bring this up and unmute and hello, unmute. We'll see what Trappy had to say about the potential for them to make a shark bite video transmitter. All right. Take a quick look at this. Oh, fuck. You see these three chips? One, two, three. So that's your size constraint. There's no way you can fit this on a 20 by 20. Well, there's no way you can fit this on a 20 by 20 with the connector. This is a 30 by 30, right? It's a, this is 25 millimeter. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, yes. Yeah, so however, checks, there's, so, yeah. there's a lot of like shit on the back that you, that you probably won't need. Or, I mean, I guess you need it, but it could be made smaller. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is not fun. So there's the the new race VTX it's twenty like millimeter that. mounting. Yeah, but it's like almost the same size. Well, it is the same size. They just yeah, they just yeah, relocated shit. Just relocated it. Uh, and and yours truly, fucking, you're welcome. The, <laughs> this one here, the UFL screw. It's true. They did that. that they did that first. As far as I know, they did that first. That is true. Credit to TBS for that. After after people complained about the UFLs coming off and then begged for MMCXs, and then they said, no, we're not going to give you MMCXs. They're too big and heavy. And then finally they gave us MMCXs, but then they kind of passive-aggressively made the little screw that holds the UFL on in response to that to show that UFL is still superior. But they could have done that anyway, and if we hadn't complained about MMCXs, maybe they wouldn't have. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Once again, whining no gets results. Discount for pricey orders. So is he going to talk there, about there making are, it? There are still shipping. Um, he just mentions that like the just, RF stage yeah. doesn't look very <laughs> impressive, but welcome, no, he doesn't really talk about to making the new it. World. Okay. Um, All right. Last, yeah. Last year I ordered a backpack from the US. Shipping was sixty. A big company, I guess, right? Tiny company. Tiny company. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. 20 by 20 is this one here. Okay, okay. But the RF stage does look pretty. I don't want to be rude, but it looks pretty basic. <laughs> but that's why we need you. So. That's yeah. what we want you for. Probably something we could do. There you go. Okay, so I guess uh, I, I heard that he said, oh, there's probably something we could do. But now that I actually see it, it sounds it doesn't sound like he's saying, yeah, we could do this. It sounds like he's saying, this is kind of crappy. We could do it better. Not that yeah. we will, but we could. 
Yeah. I don't and know. I think most, most people would like to see that TBS knows their hardware, like we talked about. So it would certainly be great to see somebody like that, um, work with HD zero and make some nice hardware. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The, the, and for the record, you know, Carl Zhao from HD zero said, we don't know how to build an, a, a video transmitter. We just know how to make these ASICs that, that create the digital signals. And we really would like to work with somebody like TBS, Immersion RC, Rush, you know, anybody who knows how to make VTXs, we would love your help. So when Trappy says the RF stage looks pretty simple, it's like, that's the part you will bring to the table. Yes. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. Next link. Uh, Trappy talking about FLRC versus LoRa. FLRC is the modulation used in Tracer. LoRa is used in Crossfire and Ghost which also does both. Changa agent, ELRS, Spanx, Tracer, and range tests. Discuss. Change agent. Oh no, this is going to be good. Seriously, like is every dumb person going to... Okay, the reason why it beats it in a range test is because Tracer uses another modulation, which is way faster. You that want is to true. Be fast with a 2.4 link. You don't want to go far. Okay, stop right there. Hey, Blunty. Uh, if I give you a, a sports car, would you rather have a sports car? Would you would you like a sports car with lots of power and acceleration, uh, or great fuel efficiency? Well, I mean, I guess I'd want both. Right? Oh, you want both? But, yeah. What if, but, what if there was one sports car that could give you both and one sports car that only went fast, but had terrible fuel economy, all else being equal, which one would you want? I want the one that does both. Yeah. I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah. <laughs> He's making this dichotomy. Tracer is well, for fast speed and, and uh, crossfire is for long range. Yes, I know. But Ghost can do both. And so could Tracer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You'll see he kind of goes into it, but I think he, yeah, he doesn't understand or so he's confused. So. Well, he does understand. I don't think he's confused. Well, you'll see. I think when he's the next. That last All right, link. We'll I keep going. I think. Yeah. Should we keep going on this link, or should we go to the next one? Just hop to that last link. Let's just look okay. at like that, that last thing he says there. Okay. So if FLRC is faster but lower goes farther, they chose faster. That is a false dichotomy because the chip that they've got can do both. They didn't have to make that choice. They forced their users to make that choice. But Ghost uh, so didn't do that, and neither good, neither good. did Express LRS. Yeah, so go to oh. that YouTube link. Yeah, oh, sorry, Blunty. Thank you. You're good. Go. Well, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> oh, man. Why don't you let the pilot choose the modulation on Tracer? Well, it's in the works. It's not like we can just, like, you know. Okay, uh, good. They're working on it. Big fucking surprise. The other guys don't let you choose the modulation either. Oh, don't they? Um, just because. Don't they? Should we keep going? Is that no, that's, it? That's that's what. I, that's my point. Is like he doesn't think they can let you choose the modulation for some reason. He says it's in the works, so that's good. Uh, the yeah. other guys don't let you choose the modulation, don't they? Uh, the, yeah, they do. I mean, they, they call absolutely. it solid two fifty race five hundred, but basically all of these modes from Immersion RC Ghost break down to FLRC or LoRa and tra uh, telemetry on or telemetry off, and then the packet rate. Yeah, at least that's my understanding, because there's some labeled not Laura there, and like, yeah, that's, that's my understanding. Yeah, coherent, coherent MSK, that's FL FLRC, I, I believe. Yeah. And lo they just call it coherent MSK, I don't know what the difference is or why they say that. So this is, this is Tracer at 500 hertz. This is Tracer at 250 hertz. This is LoRa. This is Ghost. Tra go, you know, Laura, it's all Ghost, of course. So yeah, the other guys do let you choose the modulation. And so could you. Uh, but he said we're working on it. Like, I understand that they, it takes work to re re, you know, rework the code and test it. But that yeah. is not what they have said. They've said, no, we won't do it. Yeah, so it does seem like they're changing on that. It's in the works, is you know, what he said. So hopefully we will see that update come. Uh, typically, with some of the stuff with TBS, Trappy argues about it for a while, and then it eventually comes. So yes, uh, that's true. It, look, it looks like that will happen. Uh, but yeah, I, I think it's just important to point out that like 
Yeah, know what your competitors are offering because Ghost does both. Well, he does know. I mean, I uh, and by the way, when he says the other guys don't let you use the modulation, Duck My Squeeze says he thinks he's referring to ELRS. It's also this thing where he refuses to say the name of his competitors and just refers to the other guys. Yeah. Makes it a little confusing. If he is talking about Express yeah. LRS, he's right. They let you choose yeah, the it, packet rate, but not the modulation. They only do LoRa. About, if we're talking about other 2.4 gig LoRa systems, you know, to me, it's like, you got to specify. Or the other guys means everyone who's competing with you. That's right. What I, would say. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're creating this false dichotomy between speed and range. And Ghost and Express LRS show that you don't have to make that dichotomy. Express LRS accomplishes speed and range by having really, really efficient packets. And you give things up. Like like the uh, the full precision aux channels, Express LRS gives up, which not everybody would want. Uh, Ghost does it by having having full resolution channels, full telemetry, but then just making different trade offs about the packet rate, LoRa versus FLRC. It absolutely could be done. And here's the thing that is, I don't know how TBS can show themselves to be technically behind their competition. They are very proud of being at the forefront of technology. And there's a capability that their hardware has that they are denying their users to what, for what reason? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, if he's really means it's been in the works for all that time since Tracer came out, I don't believe that. Well, I, mean, I hope it is in the works time. and I hope it's coming. Yeah, but now it seems like that is happening and hopefully we'll see it soon. So, well, we'll see. That'd be exciting. Yeah. I think that Absolutely. Tracer is of the of the long distance controlling pro protocols, you know, Crossfire, Tracer, uh, Ghost, Express LRS. Are those all of them? I think that uh, Tracer is the one I'm I'm least excited about personally, because yeah. I think Ghost yeah. gives you just as much speed, and Express LRS gives you just as much speed. Ghost is about as easy to use. Express LRS is maybe arguably higher performance in some ways. Um, and I just don't feel like being in the Crossfire ecosystem is, is makes up that trade-off. 